Hello, I just have one question for the people at home and the people in my quick look with me. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Sponge SquarePants. Square pa square Absorbent and, and yellow. yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob Sponge Square Guy. Bubbles. His nautical nonsense be something that you wish? Squares. I can't hear you. Do you need me to turn my game up? Oh. This is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This is available on the Xbox One X, the P well, the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Switch, and also PCs, I believe. Ben, back me up on that. Steam. PCs. Steam, yes. And it is a $30 game. And this is a remaster reskinning yeah. a remaster yeah. of an old game do you know when the original uh, game came out ben also i'm abby I and i'm joined by it. ben and jan asked. ben and jan Hi, I'm ben it came out I'm... in 2003 okay so what a year a long while ago yeah 2003 um that seems like peak spongebob time i don't think i played the original ben you have on giant bump content correct that is correct uh i had never played it back in the day but i knew uh as far as character-based platformers go, people held this in a pretty high regard. Yeah. yeah. I will say I've played it for a couple of hours, probably like two or three hours, and I have enjoyed it. I definitely think it's something for children, um, yes. and I am an adult woman, but uh, let's hop in there. You know, and I think also for a $30 game, uh, you kind of get what you pay for, and not in a bad way. I think it's fun. I think it's charming. Um, oh, I might turn my gameplay down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. But uh, I'm in Squidward's house currently. Um, I am in Squidward's house. I am SpongeBob. You can switch between characters. Um, okay. And so far, I've only unlocked SpongeBob and Patrick. But I believe later you can unlock Sandy Cheeks, who is the squirrel yeah. that lives underwater. Y'all remember Sandy Cheeks, right? Oh, yeah. Of course. How could you forget? I do love Squidward's art. Um, mm -hmm. So, like many 3D platformers, you got to jump. You got to double jump. Uh, you have some, like, combat moves. You got this bubble blower. You got, like, an upward bash. You got a double jump no. down with bubble feet. And Squidward has similar abilities. They're just more squid Squidward. Or not Squidward. Um, Patrick. Patrick. There's more patrick -y. I wish I could play Squidward. I'm just going to destroy everything in Squidward's house. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Hell I yeah. I question. Okay. Did Squidward behead one of his family members and mount them to a wall? You know, this... <laughs> Um, that's a great question, and it it's looks a little, a little disturbing. bit. It looks a little bit wood think... carved to me, because I know that Squidward's oh, whole okay. dealy do is that he like only makes art of himself, right? Although this is not him. Neither are these fruits. Neither is this clarinet music. Anyway, yeah, I notice there's a lot of like stills from the show around the house. That <laughs> yeah, look really nice. I enjoy them. I think this game looks good, all things considered. Um, yeah. I also think... So, okay, quick premise of the game. Ben, back me up if I'm wrong. It has sure. a loose story that is sort of coherent, but basically what it is, is the... So far, the, you're right. Uh, <laughs> is that um, Plankton, who is the small evil antagonist of the show, who works at the chum bucket, he is always setting off new inventions and he invented these robots and the robo robots were supposed to like be under his control but he fucked up and they are not under his control i probably shouldn't swear in this quick look because it's a game for kids anyway they are not under his control they are wild and we as spongebob have to stop him and also we're getting golden spatulas i don't fully know why and like everybody has their own sort of sub story and none of them seem to like kind of go together okay. but that's about did, did i nail it i mean the main thing is like yeah, yeah. Plankton hey, robots. It, remember Mario 64 where you had to get stars? It's that, except you yeah. have to get spatulas. Exactly. And then you also have like these stinky socks that are Patrick's. Anyway, let's talk to Squidward. I think I may have already talked to him. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... As far as I can tell, um, the voice actors seem to be like the real ones. There are a few that I'm like, these don't sound right. But also I haven't mm -hmm. listened to the show or watched the show in like 10 years. So it very well could be new voice actors or it could be... Uh, it's all the original except for Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I was like, Mr. Krabs feels wrong. But also <laughs> I think, um, what's his face? The guy who is like the superhero. But I think the main voice actor may have died. 
So that's probably Oh, why. Mermaid Man. Mermaid yeah. Man. Yes. I was like, your voice is not right, but that's so funny. I knew Mr. Krabs was wrong. Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely like ready to be like, oh, none of these are right again, or blah, blah, blah. But yeah. No, it's, it's all spot on. Is that how they were in the um, original? I, it was, so like you need to you need to fill in what the difference is. Also, that's a very funny line. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, the game. The, I will say the, there's a lot of like wisecracking. It's funny because it's a character platformer, but a lot of it lands. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's got that SpongeBob humor. It doesn't feel like they were just like, okay, we got a half hour to write all SpongeBob's lines. No, it's funny. There was one joke that was like really dark. I don't remember what it was, but I remember being like, <laughs> damn, they fucking went for it in a way I really enjoyed. Um, but you, Ben, you can speak more to how this is different than the original. Can't this super speak to that. Familiar. Okay. Uh, I played only a few hours, but I will say uh, that so far my impression is it is a super duper duper faithful, maybe to a fault, recreation mm. of the original game. Interesting. Um, it has yeah. some of those like, this doesn't feel good, like. Oh yeah. Zoned in it of the you know two, mid early two thousand character platformers that they didn't fix for better yes. or worse, right? Like they. Yeah, there are absolutely parts where I'm like, one, it shows its age, and also shows that it is like a thirty dollar game for kids. Where I will like be doing one of these, and I'm like, oh shit, it's like wobbly as fuck. It's like yeah. hard to land on this like very precise platform, and then I fall, and then there's no real checkpointing to get me back to where I was. It's annoying as shit. Like here's one. So I already got the golden spatula for up here, but I'll show you how I did it to kind of demonstrate i think i'll be able to do it again so like you have these buttons and then it like sets these timers off um then i think i have to okay i didn't prep this super well then i have to mash this with my big feet and like the timers anything with a timer is a nightmare um and i didn't do this right because i should have done this before the other timer but it's like very difficult on top of it also being a little finicky and like floaty when you fall so like i've already missed it which is fine i kind of knew that would happen but the timers oh boy that said still enjoying it for what it is for a platformer this is kind of the overworld map so right now i've only really gone into these two places bikini bottom and jellyfish fields and from here you can see like oh look at all these golden spatulas i got there are other collectibles these stinky socks the jelly thing which i haven't got yet um and some of our favorite characters that we love uh, yeah. And these usually have like a hint to where it is, but some you need to like receive the task before you get that hint. Um, so I did, um, I don't remember where it was. I did just unlock one area. So you use the golden spatulas, like with many of these games, like you see over there, I need 15. There's one over there, I need 10. Patrick's pants were down. Um, and I only have eight right now. So we will go, I just unlocked an area for five. I believe it was not jellyfish fields. I think it was over here. You take the taxis to sort of get to each area. Let's go to downtown Bikini Bottom. Oh, this looks familiar, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we were lost here and ran around, ran around it for 45 minutes. Oh, well, yep. you can show me the ways. Cause I just got to here and I spoke to uh, Mrs. Without Puff. Wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them oh, there was a joke in this I really liked where she was like, where, so the whole premise of this world is like, oh no, there are robots everywhere and they took the steering wheel so we can't drive them out of town. And it, SpongeBob was like, well, why don't we just never make a turn? Why don't we just only go straight? And it was funny. Um, they wrote it better than I'm saying it, but it was, it was good. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Um, it's a little upsetting to see. How do I get out of this? Okay. So let's try to go quick. Woo! So I haven't really explored this area much. I just unlocked it. Here's some of the cutscenes, so you know what to expect when you're playing your favorite SpongeBob game. And this is my favorite SpongeBob game. Mm-hmm. You guys big SpongeBob fans? Love them. Yeah, and you know, uh, in preparation oh, for Jesus. this, I was like, are they still make? I didn't even know if they were still making SpongeBob. So I oh, looked they, it up. I think they are. Episodes uh, are as recent as April of this year, and I watched wow. one, and it was pretty funny. I believe it. I think the original SpongeBob is like some of the best children's television out there. I think yeah. it is so good. Agree. Changed the game. Those, those first three seasons are just like so funny, so like weird. You know? It's, yes, it's, it's like the perfect like, kind of kids weird that I think. Yes. Yeah. The musical is also 
fantastic. The movies oh, are right, great. Yeah, you're a big fan of musical. I don't. Oh, oh yeah. like the live one. My friend knows the guy who played SpongeBob. Oh wow, he's a yeah. very talented person. Uh, apparently, he does like backflips in the show. I don't know. Yeah. How do I get this thing? Okay, uh, so you can see I have not, stomp it. underwear up there. Um, yeah. Great, I got it. There we go. So if you look here, I have underwear in the top left corner, and I only have one underwear left. So I'm going to try to get this underwear. Oh, God. That thing explodes. I got to get out of there. So underwear are like my hearts, as you know. Uh, I also have these shiny things. I have like 3,000 of them because truly you earn them pretty quick. I also have the stinky socks and then the uh, wheels, which is more to this world. So let's go. Uh, let's try to find all these wheels. Did y'all ever unlock uh, Sandy? How quickly does it come? Because I was surprised how long I... it took me to unlock Patrick. I think I we think got Sandy's Sandy on here. this level. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hopefully we'll unlock her then. Ooh, volcanic hot sauce. I'm guessing okay. I don't want to touch that. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Oh. You made it. Great. Like Favorite SpongeBob character? Ooh. Oh, oh, gosh. Hmm. I like Pearl. She's like a, <laughs> a moody teen whale. I just think it's hard to beat SpongeBob, you know? I like the character, yeah. um... I know she's, like, not everyone's favorite person right now, but um, in the Spongebob movie, uh, Scarlett Johansson plays a mermaid, and she's very oh, nice yeah. to Spongebob and Patrick in a way I enjoy, of uh, basically being like, oh, you two idiots, I'll be nice to you. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I love, I love mm. Patrick Star. Oh, uh, Patrick's yeah. good. I love the episode where Spongebob and Patrick, um, like, raise a baby. And Patrick, I think, is not doing the work. Is it SpongeBob or Patrick who aren't doing the work? It was one oh, of them the who's dirty not. Diapers? Yeah, yeah. And then there's oh, the diapers kind of, everywhere. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Patrick. Yeah, I think you're right. Because I think SpongeBob was like, I'm slaving away at the office all day. How do I get you? Oh, let's I'm see. Big, okay. I'm a big Mr. Krabs fan. You know, he was a oh. little one-dimensional at first with the whole money thing being the mm -hmm. only thing but i think he's got some really solid one-liners I, I, he's just mm. a good shitty boss oh yeah i really just like the whole vibe of uh the krabby patty yeah <laughs> oh god i didn't even i didn't eat like burgers as a kid i didn't eat a lot of meat but mm -hmm. even the krabby patty seemed like irresistible in a way where if i could somehow eat one in real life i would do it in this oh second. yeah oh shit this is hard yeah, okay. platformers of this time. Jesus. <laughs> they expect a lot. Um, but yeah. I could absolutely see myself as, like, a younger person. And honestly, I enjoyed it as an older person and a much more kind of relaxing experience to the games I am currently playing. Um, oh, farts. Oh, there we go. I made it. Oh, oh there we go. How is it going back and forth between, like, this and Last of Us? <laughs> it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's similar, kinda nice. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, similar vibe, similar story. Um, both incredibly violent. No, this is a joke. <laughs> This is not violent, really much. It's cartoony violent, like this. Boom. Oh my well, god. That guy exploded. That is robot had a name. <laughs> they have robot dogs. Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I really. There's not a whole lot I can say about this game, to be honest. I think it's fun. I think if you are a young person, you will enjoy it. Ooh, I think I'm going to get a new this skill from this bubble buddy. Oh, yeah, maybe. I remember this thing. tower. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Let's uh, let's try to climb it. Let's see how we do. Yeah. Y'all speak about it in a way that makes me think it's gonna be really fun. Well. It, Ooh, stinky sock. I will say, uh, playing this at home without having to stream it and just like being able to sit there and take it all in and run around and collect shiny objects and not try to be entertaining oh, was yeah. really fun in a way that I didn't necessarily experience playing yeah. it live. I will say now that I have the cameras rolling, it's less leisurely <laughs> than I think <laughs> when I was prepping this game. It feels a little like, well, I got to get something done. Whereas before it's like, I'll just poke around, I'll hit every box and like not really pay attention to what I'm doing. Goodness gracious, jump, fall, I don't think you need to go up there. Okay. You have to know what you're getting into with this game. And that is, it's a remake of a 2003 <laughs> character platformer. Yes. Uh, you, in, in a weird way, I feel like it's just as good now as it was then, which is pretty good if you've yeah. got like 30 yeah. bucks to spare and some time that you want to kill. Yes, and I also think, you know, if you are a young person who loves 
SpongeBob, I think they will probably get a kick out of it. If you know a young person who loves SpongeBob and you are thinking about getting this game for them, I think they will enjoy it. I think this is the right challenge level for them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Should we go to the Sea Needle? No, let's uh, try to get through. I feel like we've gotten zero. We only have one wheel, and I think I may have done that off camera in my playthrough. Yeah, we only have one uh, There's wheel. one wheel by Mrs. Puff. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is like a Hi, nice. Gary. Gary also shows up in all the worlds. A, this is a good, like, gateway platformer into something more uh, yeah, demanding. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's the entrance Why do you think Mr. Krabs didn't do the voice you acting? Sandy to help me. Um, didn't pay him enough. Hmm. Okay, let's unlock Sandy. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay. Maybe Sandy can I'm fly? Not that uh, she has a lasso. Oh, oh, I love the just straight up little Texas Only signs everywhere. That gap looks impossible. Okay, okay. I'll go get Sandy to help me out. All right. So these boxes, imagination boxes, they're sort of like uh, fast travel zones. Yeah. Um, and then you use the bus stops to uh, swap between characters. So there's Sandy. Let's see if I can show y'all Patrick before we commit to Sandy real quick. Oh, Like nope. you said, they all kind of have their own unique abilities and stuff. Yeah. You kind of got to swap between them for different puzzles. It's like the cool. same buttons for the most part. Like, same hitty yeah. button, her Y button. I'm not sure what her Y button does. I guess we'll find out. So it looks like I haven't unlocked all of her buttons yet. Okay. Oh, neato. Okay, cool. Better make good use of all these. Oh yeah. Do you think that when they originally made this game or the show, they wanted Helen Hunt to play this character? <laughs> it was probably in the dream casting, yeah. Yeah. I love Helen Hunt. That'd be great. Oh. Oh, I can okay. So I can lasso things. Nice. This is like the last of us. <laughs> Is there a lasso in The Last of Us? Because I would love there's, that. There's, well, you could throw, like, extension cords. Oh, that's true. That's true. People are excited about the rope tech. People yeah, love you know, those the ropes. rope tech rope tech started here, let's be honest. Yeah, this is very true. Okay, let's lasso. Is it lasso? I feel like Vinny always says lasso, and I'm like, what, if, what are you talking about? Lasso. That's got to be a Vinny thing. I, yeah. I've heard lasso before. From Vinny? <laughs> You know, I'm thinking about it now. It might be from. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I'm really trying hard not to swear, and I'm not succeeding. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, cuss. <laughs> no barnacles. Just say Have... barnacles instead. Oh, barnacles is a good one. Have y'all ever been to Texas? I no. have. I got the norovirus and <gasps> threw up a bunch. Oh gosh! There's a wheel behind you. Wheel, wheel me, baby. Oh, there it is. Can I lasso the wheel? Lasso. How do I get up there? Uh, why do you tempt me, Jan? Okay, here we go. This is your yeah, fault, Jan. You no, I, you yes. know, I just... We, we played it and stumbled around for so long that some of it's ingrained <laughs> in my memory forever now. Keep an eye for more wheels. I would love to accomplish the, this um, during this... Quick look. It won't happen. We probably will be done playing here very shortly. I don't even know what I did on that one. But I'll um, take it. Besides this being um, like a remaster, remake, is there anything else new in this? Um, You know, I didn't play the original, so I can't super speak to that. But I don't know. I think it looks From nice. From what I gathered, I don't think there is uh, anything new. Except I don't know if that multiplayer... Let me see if that multiplayer is new. Oh, yeah. We can show the multi multiplayer off. I haven't uh, played it yet. Because oh, we'll dive in together. Yeah, we'll hop in together and see what's what. Yeah, that's also. They all um, so the health is stays SpongeBob's underwear no matter what character you're playing, and they all comment on how they're wearing SpongeBob's underwear, <laughs> which I think is just a choice, and I really <laughs> respect it. Um, like, ugh, it's good. That's I think Patrick is like that doesn't fit me right. But I'm like, whatever. Well, 
Alright, yeah, it looks like the multiplayer is new. And it's a wave-based survival. Wow, okay, oh. we will definitely try this. Um, okay, well, I'll hop around a bit. But you can kind of yeah, see what this is, you that, know. That thing back up there where we fell. Okay, yeah. I kind of don't remember where that now was. Now you're saying but... Latsu. Now, this I know. Is... Well, I'm saying this it just because. Just because. But this is how the game goes. You know, you see, like, an item in the distance. You figure out how to get to it. Like many platformers, you see these kind of puzzle things around. And you're like, hmm, I think I could manage this. Oh, shoot. Which button? I forget which button is the hover. Okay. Hot sauce everywhere. Oh god. Oh. So I don't know why she was having a hard time hovering there, but um, where was the thing I didn't lasso, Jan? Do you remember? Um, oh, go geez. to the right. Okay, just a second. <sighs> to the right. Wheel. Right. Yeah, through. Uh, yeah, straight ahead. Not there. To the left. There we go. By the bank. Yeah. I think, I want to say, I don't remember what amusement park. I think I was at an amusement park that had some, like, fake Krusty Krab stuff. Like, fake Spongebob world things. Maybe I'm thinking of King's mm -hmm. Dominion. Anyway, this is not an interesting story. Let's go check out the online mode. Um, How do I quit? I'll never know what happened now. It's really, all we'll, I'm saying we'll is... We'll never know. <laughs> there was um, <laughs> options... Back to main menu. It, it's just like, you know how like uh, amusement parks would be like, look, it's like your favorite TV show, but it's you're walking through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 They did that with like SpongeBob stuff. A stair and chair, as they call in the theme park biz. Oh. What? A stair and chair. Just believe him, Jan's like a Disney guy. Please. Are you really, Jan? This is how, this is how we're going to get to a theme park when they all open up. Ooh, okay. Invite Ooh. me to your stair and chair. We'll do a giant bomb stair and chair. Um, they had this one at King's Dominion. They had this one ride. Also, I think this multiplayer might be a little busted. There is one ride where you, as like a little kid, could play... Hmm. Could play... I'm going to try to host. Yeah. yeah. Um, I oh. Neato. Oh, neato. I want to be Roboplankton. Um, invite. Can I invite? Y'all probably aren't on, right? And I think it's all only on Xbox. Can I just like open this up to the world? Uh. I'm gonna say ready. Yeah. I don't know how. Maybe to it's two oh, people. Okay, somebody joined. Oh. Somebody joined. Nice. Okay. Oh, what a combo here! Plankton yeah. and Mr. Krabs working together. Uneasy okay, I have allies. no idea what this is. I don't know how to play it. Jump, shoot. Is this? It's okay, a wave-based uh, thing here. then. Yeah, that's what I uh, gleaned from this press release. Oh, boy. Oh, are we getting booted? Oh, no, okay. I cannot adjust the camera at all, and it's um, not the most pleasant angle, I will say. Yeah, I was going to say. Is, is... Hmm. There's a lot of cutscenes, and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you keep cutting to something. What's the cow doing down here? Oh, we're above the water. Oh. What, what is, is this? Is this like an escape course? I hope that Mr. Krabs knows what he's doing. Because I sure as heck do not. I think you just gotta survive. Alright, good work, Mr. K. Go. I'm glad someone joined. I'm like shocked. Alright, so far it's Mostly boring. I wonder if I can give uh, Mr. Krabs my underpants. If, like, for some reason. I also wonder if you, like, really get into this. If choosing the um, different characters matters for you. You know what I mean? Like, sure. If... Like, is there a desired team comp? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh -oh. I feel can like hear the kids the screaming in my building? They uh -oh. all are pretty similar. Mr. Yeah, Krabs I mean, is moving ahead pretty quick. Mr. Krabs to go in the mid lane, if anything. I fell in the water and okay, I'm I'm Oh my god, Jan, they're making a Pokemon MOBA. I know. I, I don't know, know anything about MOBAs, but y'all have fun with this conversation. What if uh, what if you wanted to play Dota 2 with us? Why would I want that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not wait, sick. I I played a lot of Dota. She does not want that. <laughs> I mean neither do I, but 
Hey man, you DM'd me. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all hear the uh, children crying in my apartment building? Because boy, are they crying. I, I, I heard that. That was probably the game. Wondering. Okay, I feel like I need to address it, otherwise people are going to be very concerned <laughs> listening to this. <laughs> Like, I thought this was like a oh, Jesus. Dr. Robotnik situation where the robots were children. Is Dr. Robotnik like a Sonic thing? Who's Dr. Robotnik? Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega yeah, Man? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Dr. Eggman. I know that because of the Sims video I'm doing. Oh, boy. Um, This is what a lot of the combat is, too. So, like, occasionally you'll have waves of that. And sometimes they're, like, little puzzles. As far as the main game goes, I mean, where you will have, like, oh, here's a bunch of waves of robots, and, like, you have to uh, knock them down and not completely knock them out, and then throw their bodies at, like, a thing, basically. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's yeah. not the most elegant Yeah, gameplay, but, it's, but it's, it's fine. It's fun. Serviceable. And I think if you, you know, I think if you're a young person, you will probably very much enjoy it. I don't think it's overly complex, but I think there is enough variants and complexities that, like, it's not boring. Wow, I'm really not doing well. Mr. Krabs is carrying us. Thank you, time. XQSK Clutches. Bring it I get it. Oh, sugar. That's for blowing bubbles? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> it's no. really the platforming that seems to be getting us. Is this as far as we made it? All right, oh shoot, they keep respawning nope. us. I was ready to call it a day. Oh, it's okay. I was fully ready to not make it. No, Abby, we got to see this to the end. We have okay. to eventually finish something with this game. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, again, it's a $30 game available on pretty much everything. I think you know what you're getting. It's a kid's game that totally. was originally made 15 years ago. Yeah, take um, a swim down Nostalgia River. Yeah. SpongeBob rules. The writing is fun. Yep. Oh, I should The new probably... episode I watched, uh, Patrick got a job at the Goofy Goober so he could <gasps> eat unlimited ice cream. Nice. Oh. Goofy Goober rules. Is it like in Super HD and everything? Yeah, it looks really good. It sounds yeah. really good. There, like a lot of really good facial animation and stuff. Like cool. it seems like they've still got really talented people working on it. That's great. Long live SpongeBob. Yeah. I feel like the dude who voices SpongeBob has like the perfect gig where he is like, incredibly wealthy i'm sure has like a lot of clout in his industry but like doesn't get bombarded on the street that often but like maybe occasionally you know like maybe enough yeah. to have somebody be like oh you don't have a reservation like you can come in here you do the voice of spongebob but not so much that he's like bombarded do you think it uh doing the spongebob voice destroys his like vocal cords like oh. the joker does to mark oh. hamill oh it does it i don't know wow mark hamill take care of that yeah, he's getting joker fight in real life. Oh, no. Have, did y'all see... Okay, we're really on a tangent now. Did y'all see that um, they're playing Inception in Fortnite? What? Oh, was it Inse I saw they were going to do a Nolan movie. I didn't see it. Was they're doing three different Nolan movies. In North America, they're doing Inception. Okay. So uh, get ready for it. I'll, I'll watch that. Yeah, why not? Wait, can we stream that? <gasps> I don't know. I would love like, to try. Wait. I'm confused. What are they doing in Fortnite? You can watch Play a Inception. full three-hour-long movie. <laughs> you know who I think is overrated? Christopher Nolan. I think some of his movies are good. I think most of them are overly complicated to make you feel like you're smart, but you're not actually. They just don't make a total lot of sense. Do we agree? Just... No. <sighs> uh... What do we do? What was the last one he put out? 11 uh... enemies left. Um, Interstellar, maybe? Yeah. That was okay. I like that. I, I, oh. I, think I don't think it's very he's, good. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out about him, like really oh. pressuring theaters to. He's like, I'm not going to release this movie digital. People no. have to go to a movie theater to see my movie. It's really shitty. But oh, I really no. Like I like his. The only good steampunk movie, which is um, The Prestige. Everything else, not very good. Oh, God. Batman versus Wolverine. I love that movie. Oh, oh I haven't Dunkirk. seen it. That was his most recent. Oh, Dunkirk. Dunkirk's pretty good. Dunkirk's pretty good. I'll give him Dunkirk. But a lot of it's people didn't like it. It's definitely one of his most straight, more straightforward. Yes. I think Dunkirk is good. Look, I'm not saying he's not good. I'm saying he's overrated. And, like, they aren't smart. as smart as they think they are. Good job, everybody. Look what we did. Honestly, I died more, but who got more shiny objects? 
who defeated more That's enemies. Right. Eat shit, X Q S K Klutz. Shit. Sh- <laughs> eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this was SpongeBob. I forget the full subtitle. Ben, take it away. Battle What's the title? Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Yes, and I think this is a perfectly fun platformer for thirty dollars. Knowing what you're going to get, which is that it is a 15-year-old game that they basically reskinned, I still think it is fun. I think that a young person especially will like it. I think that is the audience for this, and I think in that sense, it succeeds. It is fun. It is fine. It won't blow your yeah. socks off, but it's fun. It is fun. It is fine. That nails it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, fellas, Ben and Jan. Thank you. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, I can't hear you. I'll turn my game back up. Okay. Okay. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.